Hello, my name is Michelle Armstrong and I'm a customer service manager at Capita Sims. Today we're going to be looking at Sims individual reporting and how the graph functionality can provide a flight path of a student's progress and also how that can be utilised for reports for parents but also for internal reporting. Let's take a look. So here's an example of a report we've created for parents and you can see there's a range of information including three graphs showing student progress across English, Maths and Science. So now we're going to look at how that was created within SIMS. So we may want to display progress during an academic year or from a key milestone. At primary level this could be showing pupils actual level at the end of Key Stage 1 and their progress towards their expected level at Key Stage 2. Today I'm going to be looking at secondary data at Year 8 results comparing actuals against their target over an academic year. So let's take a look at how we can create a graph. So I'm creating a new individual report and then we're going to go into our Word template. So you can see we provide a template for you to make a start with your reports. Um, for today's purposes I'm going to uh, delete the information here and I want to add in a graph and we do that through the add-ins menu route. Insert a graph and then I'll be presented with a wizard which will take me through the processes to be able to add the key information. So in my example we're going to be uh, adding a line graph. Let's give the graph a title, a label for our horizontal axis and for our vertical axis and here we can set the minimum and maximum and next. So now we can amend the names, the actual labels for our graphs and we're looking at attainment versus target and I'm going to edit my column name and we're looking at year 8 for the autumn, year 8 for spring and year 8 for the summer. And now we just need to add our results. So I'm pulling this information through from the aspects within Assessment Manager and I'm adding my attainment information in my first section, attainment terminally for maths and then I filter by my results set. Year 8, autumn and then update. And then next I want to add my results for the target values and I'm now looking for my expected and again for my result set. Year 8 Autumn So now I've added my results information click on Next and now I've finished and to be able to see that information save the report save my new report from here and now I can add an individual student. So let's identify some of my Year 8 pupils and let's preview his report. So by utilising this functionality we can create a report not only for parents but also a useful graphical representation of an individual's progress for use internally within school. And if student names are not included, it could also be utilised to provide information for governors. Ideal for cases where you need to report on very small groups. So I hope you found that video useful. Do visit our website for more information. And for those customers with an enhanced support agreement, contact your customer service manager. They'll be happy to come into your school and talk to you more about the benefits of SIMS.